Hey guys, John Vaporonic Technologies here today. I wanted to show off a little different video than before. Um, what we're doing here, we're going to work from left to right. And what we've used, we've used a standard air uh, coupling here. What I wanted to show you was the difference between uh, dry blast, aluminum oxide, wet blast, aluminum oxide, wet blast, glass bead, wet blast, ceramic bead, and of course, a raw, unfinished part here. This is straight from the factory. Um, this is what the part looks like after the machining process. And a lot of people, engineers specifically, always ask us, you know, what the finishes are going to look like on their parts. You know, obviously there are a lot of different combinations um, that go into getting certain finishes and different results, depending on the, the material that you're blasting. This is a brass part, um, so brass, is going to act differently than stainless steel, carbon steel, of course, and aluminum. And what we get to see here is the difference between the wet and dry processes. Um, again, these two parts here, the one on the left, this is dry. This is dry blast using aluminum oxide. This is a 220 mesh aluminum oxide in a dry cabinet. All of the pressures were the same here. We used 90 PSI across the board. Each part only took about 30 seconds to 40 seconds to do in every machine. But dry blast 220, wet blast 220. And you can see the difference just between those two parts. Look how much uh, more dull the dry blast finish is compared to wet. And again, the only thing we're looking at here are the difference in finishes. I'm not trying to talk about coating prep or surface finishing. I just wanted you to see what each part looks like. And in my opinion, glass bead always wins when you're looking for an aesthetical finish. Um, ceramic bead's not far behind, but that's glass and that's ceramic. Let me pick this thing up and get you an overhead view. But take a look at the, the dark, dull, textured. This is very chalky in nature. Um, even though this is a dull finish, it's not as chalky in the wet system glass bead, ceramic bead, and raw finish. So you would have to be the judge. You would have to tell us what you're looking for and what you want. Um, that's why we do what we do here. We're always trying to give you options. With a vapor honing cabinet, you have a million different options to give you the finishes or the prep work or the coating removal work or the parts cleaning need that you have. We have a million different ways to do that. And this is just a really good example using a brass part straight from the manufacturer on what those finishes are gonna look like. If you guys have questions about how we can help you, maybe what kind of finishes you're trying to achieve, or if you're trying to prep for some sort of coating, whether it's a powder coat or a thin film ceramic coating or some other exotic coating that's out there, PVD coatings, uh, zinc platings, what have you, we can help you. We can help you set up a process to do that uh, but we have to know where you're at with your parts, what materials you're working with, because everything's going to change with the material that, they're, that you're blasting. And a lot of the reason behind that is because of the softness of the materials. I mean, obviously this is a very soft metal, and so it's gonna react differently than aluminum or stainless um, wood. So just to give you a little bit of idea, this is the difference between dry, wet, with using the same abrasive. Then we go wet glass bead, wet ceramic, and then a raw part. But if you guys have questions on how we can help you, please call or email the sales team today. They're always here and happy to help. And as always, thanks for watching.